underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Start on the ground with McCaffrey. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. McCaffrey on the toss right. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. A tough back. spot here on their yeah, opening back. drive. This is third and seven. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So go. now a third go. and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Hey. Off of play action, here's Lance. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On the double. One, two, get up. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. The Lance now to throw. Throws the out loud and completes it to Samuel. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on his drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing open at all, and they swarmed him. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. 
And he is going to have the Niners first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. Give them 11 on the gain there. And it'll be first down 49ers. McCaffrey running up the middle. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 29, Lance. That's complete out left to IU. Touchdown, 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, 29 yards. And the 49ers have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. and 10 just outside the 30. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Diggs going in motion right. From the 30 on second down, Allen. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Javon Kinlaw coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. Now that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, we're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And 
too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Well, it bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation. Instead, tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long, thought he needed the deep pass, couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Here's second and ten. To the air, Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He lost a big chunk, six yards there, and it leads to fourth down. Tyler Bass out for the Bills' field goal. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball after that. They didn't even get a first down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. set to get this drive underway. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now is Lance. This will be caught at Samuel. 
And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Let's go now. Hey, hey. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. They find some open field here. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, 42 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. Now gold for the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Diggs going in motion right. This is Hines. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Digs in motion left. Alert, alert, alert. It's out. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. On second and ten, Lance. This one caught by Kittle. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. Play action. Now it's Lance. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago, followed it up with another nice one here. here we go. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Lance looks to throw again. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combined for the completion and big gain. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the counter, this is Singletary. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now Allen. And he 
takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I didn't notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second and 11 now, Lance. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Lance on the bootleg. This will be caught inside the 10. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Ready, ready. Ultra, ultra. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on E. of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown Christian McCaffrey his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Niners have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter now the 49ers electing to leave the offense out there and go for two. Lance going to try to throw for this. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22.
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give 96, up the touchdown. 96. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. But well, just add that to the list of great moments for this defense today. They've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Allen going to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Lance looking to throw it. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now the Bills will take another timeout. That's going to leave them with just one remaining. 